Hey, family. Uh, whatever side of the diaspora that you are on, uh, thank you for being out here listening. And I need for y'all to do me a favor. Okay? So y'all already know I usually try to do something the first two minutes because you already know how YouTube gets down. So as opposed to running into that problem, and I know a lot of y'all are allergic to this, but I need y'all to listen just for the few minutes to let this time go past, okay? And it's about, it, it involves scripture, okay? Oh, don't run. Don't become a gremlin. Okay, and I want y'all to know something, okay? Listen to this. Then came there two women that were harlots unto the king and stood before him. And the one woman said, oh, my Lord, I and this woman dwell in one house. And I was delivered of a child with her in that house. And it came to pass that the third day after I was delivered, that this woman was delivered also. So we were together. There was no stranger with us in the house. Say we too was in the house. Just us is in the house now, right? Y'all get that, all right? So I'm not swearing or anything. And this woman's child died in the night because she overlaid it, right? Y'all know a lot of us have done that, laid on our babies, okay? And she took a rose at midnight and took my son from beside me while thy handmaid slept. And laid it in her bosom and laid her dead child in my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to give my child a suck, behold, my baby was dead. But when I had considered it was the morning, behold, it was not my son. This ain't the kid I bore. All right, that was me. Y'all get it. And the other woman said, nay. Uh, but the living is my son, and the dead is your son. And this said, no, I said, no, no, no. But the dead is thy son, and the living is my son. Thus, we're going to take this before the king. All right? Listen to this story, people. And the king said, the one said, this is my son that liveth, and the one said, this is thy son that's dead. And the other said, no, 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 but my son is the dead, and my son is the living. And the king said, bring me a sword, because I, I, I ain't even finna trip with y'all. Bring me a sword. And so they brought a sword. They brought it before the king. And the king said, all right. Divide the living child in two. Give the half to one and give the other half to another. That's how barbaric they are. Right? Anyways, split the child down the middle. Then spoke the woman who the living child was unto the king. For her bowels yearned upon her son. She wanted her baby back, and she said, oh, my Lord, just give her the living child, and in no wise slay it. In other words, give her the baby. She, she can have my baby. But the other said, let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. Let's divide it. Yeah. Then the king answered and said, give her the living child. And in no way we will slay it. She is the mother thereof. And all Israel heard of the judgment which the king had judged. And they feared the king. For they saw that the wisdom of God was in him to do the correct judgment. Now, 
what the hell they got to do with what I'm talking, what's going on here. <coughs> that lady that didn't care if you split the baby down, I mean, she represents the Babylon whore America. See, America would rather just let the whole thing blow up than to do justice by black people. Black people ain't did this government nothing. We haven't done anything. In fact, we've been model citizens for the most part. The most damage we do is against ourselves. And so now, with all the abuse y'all done put on us, every time you want something negative to say, you go, well, how about Chicago? Well, how about the Stanford University and those tests, those sociologist tests where they confine rats and put them in all kinds of bad, bad, bad situations and watch those rats begin to eat on one another, begin to kill one another, begin to uh, uh, just devour one another because the conditions that you have given and put them up under and try to uh, 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 have an expectation of them to thrive in an environment with bad doctors, with experimental health, with all guns, violence, everything negative in the society you put upon these people, but then you want to know what is the repercussions behind that abuse? Oh, something must be wrong with y'all because you shoot yourself. Look what happened in Chicago the other week. See, this is how the king began to recognize who was Satan himself because the person with God in him was willing to just give her baby up. Because that's what a human being would do. But a demonic energy, a dirty damn devil, would say split the baby down the middle. Yeah, split the baby, go for broke. And America does not even see itself in a situation where it is about to crumble. Her arrogance, her pompousness, her inability to give justice to even the 20, from 1619 to now, people that you forced here against their will and tried to cast and have cast them as your lower class. They fill in your prisons. You have inflicted all kinds of abuse made them forget their moral race, took their language away from them, sold their babies away from them. And then you got the nerve to act like this history does not exist. As a matter of fact, it's so bad, you don't even want to teach it to your children. So now you rather blow up the world than to tell the truth. And nothing is going to go by, going to go good with America until she tells the truth. In fact, every inhabitant of this land is going to reject the lies that you put out there. You want everybody else to go to counseling. You want everybody else to seek help. You want everybody else to take accountability and responsibility when your harlot ass self, yourself, don't do nothing. You don't do none of that. You don't take no responsibility. You constantly, constantly, constantly keeping justice out of the people's hands that need it. You've stolen all our wealth. You've hung and raped and pillaged these black people that you have over here now. And now you want to know, what can we do with them? And now you saying stuff like, oh, they're trying to replace us. Don't you see how psychotic you are? Don't you see? But America is not going to be all right. Until they start with the justice that they owe black people. And I mean that. Anyway, that was Solomon. I mean, that was a uh, first Kings 3 and 16. And may God bless the reading of his word.